Well, Elena, that's something you should know. I'm Chris Hampton, and we're doing a story on romance scammers trying to scam people either for money or information or trying to make them think that they're going to be their husband or their wife. If there's something like there's something else that you want to say, please do so now, or you could go right out that door. Is there anything at all that you want to say? Nothing? Please leave now. Well, so, I had to get her some food, and thanks to my ally, who know who he is, in Big D Country, I think I'm going to make him the Speaker of the House in Congress. But uh, I had went to get some food, and then I was waiting for the driver with my food. Of course, once again, kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed until finally I got it. And used to, used to drive and finally call because I did have Pan Express. I had romaines and so, uh, and also some rice food. I still had some because I had two large ones. Two thing that large one comes in the small box. I don't know how the heck they did that. But it still wind up to be filling. How could Chinese food get to be so filling? What's up with that? What's up with that? Anyway, let's get to this case, okay? So, as you know, I am a widower. And I've been a widower, oh, next month will be eight years. And finding no one but scammers, romance scammers, left and right, mostly on Twitter, but a very few on Facebook. And this latest scammer comes on Facebook. You see, there was a lot of scammers that come in from WWE thinking that they're either Bianca Belair or not, not, another one now thinking that they are Charlotte Flair. And I've been getting a lot of Charlotte Flair, but also I've been getting a lot of Liz Morgan. And I only have one Bianca Belair, but a lot of Liz Morgan, but mostly on Twitter and on Facebook galore, a lot of Charlotte Flair. And this one does not disappoint. So you see, off and on, I was talking to Elena Jessica, who was on Twitter, and she always showed the Red Heart star, or the Red Heart with a smile on face, uh, I guess evidently the, the think that she fell in love. Okay? And so we've been talking off and on, off and on, and then... Well, I decided to make a picture about when I was waiting for the driver, and this was like before the temperatures started creeping up yet again, before the dreaded heat dome returns for another appearance. So I took that picture. Now, the lights on the picture are real, okay? But that was... Elena, okay, and I hope I'm pronouncing that scammer name right. I want to get her on blast for doing that. And if she's in the Charlotte Flair command club, Charlotte Flair should uh, give her the figure four for scamming men. And she only had two friends on her main Facebook, one guy and me. Now, you'll see them on my YouTube page if you, uh, if you, th if you know, want to know the full story. You will see it on my YouTube page. And, well, part of me wishing it was so real because I've been a widower for almost eight years. And then alarm bell won't ring out because when she gave me the picture uh, one time of her, it was on the right side. Like sometimes when, the, uh, when one of the programs that I use to put this on YouTube, by the way, don't forget to hit the like button, and also hit the subscribe button if you're not a part of Big D Country. By the way, Big D Country is uh, running for president, I believe. So, when he when she saw the photo of, of Prince DJ, she must, have, she must have thought of so much of him that she wanted him to be a brand new husband. And so... 
they uh, usually put it in, well, usually, normally, when somebody gets a gay, the guy usually gets on one knee and sometimes surprises them with a marriage proposal. Now, there is very rare occasions where the lady does it, but most of the time, it's a guy that wants to pop the question. Now, originally, I thought it was so very sweet, okay? I thought it was real. And then she said, could you please accept the, uh, accept the proposal? Now, I was going to do it, but instead, I would have to tell you, the citizen, I would have to tell the GSP, and then I wouldn't be a widower anymore. But, here's the catch. Ah, uh, yes, there's always a catch. Because, as you can tell, when I first saw the photo, I thought it was beautiful, okay? And then, I was thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not her. And I was doing a search. Uh, Dr. Phil, and I think another uh, another uh, one, Pleasant Green, who showed me about uh, ro- uh, not only romance scam, but other scams too, uh, taught me about Photoshop and how uh, some ladies and then some guys uh, use uh, Photoshop of another uh, person and it's not going to be them, you know, for their victims. I don't ever send money to someone that I don't know. I don't ever send any gifts either unless I actually know them, even if it is a long-distance relationship. Now, this other person claimed to be from Los Angeles in California. So, to my surprise, when all the alarm bells started going off and then she only had two main feature friends, which is me and the other guy, something like, whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. Well, <laughs> anyway, so much that that KRS1 song. But anyway, anyway, please let's go forward with this investigation. So I took screenshot after screenshot of uh, the... Uh, parts of the conversation today and I thought it was like this was so nice after the dream that I had yesterday and then after what happened on GFP the other day and I thought wow I thought this was finally going to be a breakthrough but then the the brain from the, the streets of hard knocks came in and said wait whoa 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 this could be one of those scams you mean on Facebook yes on Facebook. So not only do they do it on Twitter, and they do it on dating sites, but they also do it on tw- Twitter, too. So, for all the men out there, please, please, stay away from Ele- Elena. Her name is spelled E-L-I-A-N-A Jessica. Yeah, that's Elena Jessica. Please, for everything that is all good, please Stay away from Elena Jessica. She is a scammer, and she is a scam artist. And, I mean, if anything, she'll just leave you broken hearted. So, if I got to be the Chris Hansen and get my broken hearted so many times, even before, the month before, another anniversary that I got to go through without my wife, that's so be it. I'm Chris Hansen. We'll see you next time. 